A four-stroke gasoline engine is the most common type of internal combustion engine used in cars, trucks, and many other gasoline-powered vehicles. It works by converting the chemical energy stored in gasoline into mechanical energy through a four-stroke cycle. A stroke is the movement of the piston from TDC, top dead center, to BDC, bottom dead center. There are four strokes in one four-stroke cycle of the engine. They are called the intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. Intake stroke. Gasoline will not burn unless it is mixed with the correct amount of air. Before the piston reaches TDC, the intake valve begins to open. The piston moves down in the cylinder, creating a vacuum that draws in a mixture of air and gasoline from the carburetor or fuel injector. An intake valve opens to allow the air-fuel mixture to enter the cylinder, while an exhaust valve remains closed. The ideal mixture, called stoichiometric, for the combined purposes of engine performance, emission control, and fuel economy, is about 14.71, at sea level. Older vehicles had carburetors and newer vehicles manufactured since the mid-1980s have fuel injection systems with computer controls. The computer monitors the oxygen content in the vehicle's exhaust and then adjusts the fuel supply to provide the correct amount of fuel and air for each intake stroke. As the crankshaft continues to turn, the piston begins to move back up in the cylinder and the intake valve closes. Compression stroke. The piston moves up in the cylinder, compressing the air-fuel mixture. If you light a puddle of gasoline on fire in open air it does not produce power. If it is confined in a cylinder, however, usable power can be produced. Compressing the mixture of air and fuel into a smaller area makes it easier to burn. The compression stroke begins at BDC after the intake stroke is completed. As the piston moves toward TDC, both of the valves are closed. Power stroke. As the piston approaches TDC on its compression stroke, the compressed air-fuel mixture becomes very explosive. When the ignition system generates a spark at the spark plug, the fuel ignites. The air-fuel mixture burns, but it must not explode. As the mixture burns it expands, forcing the piston to move down in the cylinder until it reaches BDC. The action of the piston turns the crankshaft to power the car. The power stroke is sometimes called the expansion stroke. Some leakage of gases past the rings occurs during the power stroke. This leakage, called bloby, causes pressure in the crankcase. Exhaust stroke. As the piston nears BDC on the power stroke, the exhaust valve opens, allowing the spent gases to escape. Because the burning gases are still expanding, they are forced out through the open exhaust valve. As the crankshaft continues to turn past BDC, the piston moves up in the cylinder, helping to push the remaining exhaust gases out through the open exhaust valve. A few degrees after the piston passes TDC, the exhaust valve closes. The entire four-stroke cycle repeats itself, starting again as the piston moves down on the intake stroke. 